Hello, we are here with Elizabeth Catlett, the world-renowned sculptor, printer, and painter. These are some of her better-known pieces. This is the Sharecropper, printed in 1970. This is the Civil Rights Congress. She was a civil rights activist, and that was reflected in her work. This is one of her well-known paintings titled Dancing. And this is one of her many sculptures named Mother and Child. Welcome. So glad to have you. Glad to be here. So, Miss Tetlett, tell me a little about your early years. I was born April 15, 1915 in Washington, D.C. I was always interested in art. In high school, I carved my first sculpture. It was an elephant I made out of ivory soap. And where did you continue your career after high school? After high school, I studied at the Iowa University, the Art Institute of Chicago, and the Art Students League in New York City. I also taught at the George Washington Carver School for two years, from 1944 to 1946. So how long did your career last? I worked all the way through the modern and postmodernism eras, but art will always be my passion. Well, that's very nice, and you're very good at what you do. So you were married, correct? I was married to a painter named Francisco Moya, but he passed quite a while ago. Together we had three sons, and now have ten beautiful grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. Oh, how time flies. That it does. So tell me, where did you meet Mr. Moya? Oh, I met him when I moved to Mexico. Do you still live in Mexico? Yes, but I travel to America quite often. I hear Mexico is beautiful this time of year. Oh yes, it really is. So what can you tell me about your sculpture, Invisible Man? It's a tribute to Ralph Ellison and his 1952 book called Invisible Man. The book is about a young black man who feels invisible in a white-dominated world. The, my sculpture is a large piece of dark metal with a, silhouette, with a silhouette of a man carved out. When you look at the man in my sculpture, you see right through him. You see New York, not him. So what would you say is the theme of your work? I would say in the beginning it was the strength and pride of the African-American woman, but it morphed more into a mother and child theme over the years. And what was your inspiration? My grandparents were slaves, and that bothered me a lot. My inspiration is definitely my concern for African American rights, our fight for equality, and civil rights. Over the course of your career, what have you learned? I learned how you use your art for the service of people, struggling people, to whom only realism is meaningful. Beautiful. Have you ever been commissioned by any art programs? In 1995, I was commissioned by the Smithsonian Art Collectors Program. That's very honorable. Well, that's all the time we have for today. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you. I enjoyed this.